All righty. I'm hoping that you guys can hear me okay. I don't know what is going on with my audio. Oh, I did the Aquarius season video last month. I will be doing a Pisces one as well. I had audio issues on that. I don't understand what it just seems like it's quiet to me. So hopefully this is recording clearly because we are going to be touching with the energy of the Pisces new moon that will be taking place on the 20th of February at another early degree sign of a moon phase. So one degree, 22 minutes. Pisces energy is mutable energy. So it's important for adaptability and shift shaping. It is a water sign. So very intuitive, very emotional. Um, and we have to focus on this new moon being new moons are a time of planting seeds. Pisces represents on the higher aspect, our connectivity to, to the all, to the Supreme creator. Um, it's our spiritual practices. So on the low aspect of this, you can absorb, especially if you are carrying a lot of energy with Pisces, 12th house, um, Neptune. So you can absorb a lot of collective energies and it can create a sensitivity within you. And that's where we get the low vibe of Pisces, which is delusions, illusions, the rose colored glasses that we may put on throughout our lifetime when we don't know any better to try to see things um, rosier than they truly are. The Pisces energy can absorb, especially if you're in a, a big crowd. I can't even do big crowds anymore. I have Neptune on my ascendant. You can absorb the energies of others around you so it's important with this mutable water energy, any water sign, to have healthy, emotional, physical, etheric boundaries, knowing where your energy um, ends metaphorically, right? And where somebody else begins. Um, and so your intuition in this Pisces, Neptune, 12th house energy can be very intuitive with those around you perhaps that aren't, um, that their actions aren't meeting up to their words. And so you can absorb that and become sensitive, overly sensitive, overly stimulated and have those rose colored glasses on. And now we're being asked with a new moon in Pisces to plant a seed for our future manifestation of a good spiritual practice. And I feel we're gonna really need this going forward more than ever. The Pisces Neptune 12th energy, 12th house energy also is our, our fantasies. It's kind of role play. So it kind of represents the Hollywood, which I call Hellwood um, type of energy because the 12th house is the dissolving. It is where, like I said, when you end the 12th house, you go back into the first house. So this area of your life can be overwhelming, what overwhelming, and you yield, you yield to a greater cause or power. So that to me kind of represents doing your inner work, doing your emotional work, your physical work so that you can be a better person in the humanity because it affects the all, right? So the energy of Pisces is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate, forgiving, that confuses and softens resolve. So to me, that means the confusion part, you can get confused if you're, you're soaking up other people's energies and not knowing your own versus others. It also can be that confusion of, wait a minute, I'm feeling, I'm sensing a different vibe than what other people are putting out, right? So again, the Neptune energy, your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusion. 
And because it is that mutable water energy, like I said, on the low vibe, you can get swept away in crowds or the collective energy. So Pisces energy, Pisces 12th house Neptune represents the hands and the feet. So at this time, especially because we have Saturn going into this sign in March of 2023, which is big because it takes 29 and a half years for Saturn to go around the astrological wheel. So if you have a Saturn return in Pisces and it's going to affect everybody because Saturn's also a collective energy as well, not just a personal planet. Um, we had, could have a heightened sense of aching feet. And because that Pisces energy absorbs, it'd be great to get barefoot beyond the earth, absorb the and balance out the positive negative ions within you. So it also represents the lymphatic system. And I just got really hot all of a sudden. Ooh, having a rough day with many CMEs and solar flares coming in. My body's definitely feeling it. So it'd be a good time to plant a seed, like I said, to being really, really disciplined within yourself for a good spiritual practice. Pisces, Virgo. Well, let me pull up the chart. So right here, we have Pisces, new moon, the sun and moon conjunct, kissing at the early degrees. Again, like I said, one minute, 22, one degree, 22 minutes. We'll be reading the Sabian symbol for that. And the Pisces Virgo access, Virgo is our mutable earth energy. That's our everyday details. It's the health, it's the nurturing, it's the taking care of our bodies, whether it be through holistical and tradition. And they used to just say nursing, but as you know, we're witnessing the medical establishment be revealed. So to me, Reiki healing, body healing, massage healing, why does this matter? Because this Virgo Pisces polarity, and this is our mutable water energy. So this is our spiritual practice, our spiritual cleansing, our spiritual hygiene, our spiritual practice day to day. We got to balance these two energies out. And this is known as the health axis of the Zodiac. So mental health would be another thing to make sure you are having these practices in your everyday life for your mental health, for your emotional health, because we can get lost and swept in to the delusions and illusions of what we're witnessing as a collective playing out. And um, so spiritual hygiene is just as important as your physical and emotional hygiene. The Pisces energy represents the sacral chakra. So this is our creativity. This is our imagination, right? I visualize it as in being childlike. It's also our energy center of intuition and emotions. So making sure that we're realizing that we have emotions on a human experience and that it's important that we realize those are just emotions so that we're not escaping from the sensitivities because everything feels like it's too much right I did this in the past I did it for about 40 years actually um my sensitivity because I have Neptune directly on my ascendant um, created an anxiety within me to where I just wanted to numb out with alcohol. And I didn't even really realize that's what I was doing um, from a very young, early age. So keep that in mind. That is the low vibe of the Piscean energy. Of course, it matters on where it is taking place in your chart, wherever the Pisces energy is. So planting a new seed for yourself and I think it's important more than ever because I as we continue to see the structures, Pluto at the end degrees of Capricorn, um, 
dismantling anything in those structures that are not of integrity, not built on truth. Um, and so we're seeing a lot of deception. So this is the time to make sure you're not keeping a set of rose colored glasses on, right? And um, looking at things per se in a way that, you know, uh, butterflies and rainbows, because it's definitely not that. We're here to live, we're here to learn. A lot of us have to go through hard experiences to learn those life lessons. So whew, when you take those rose colored glasses off, it can be very difficult, especially in the beginning phase of your spiritual journey when you go down the rabbit hole to realize, holy shit, deception, illusions, everything's a distraction uh, to keep you dumbed down into an energy of thinking oh everything's just fine right so from my beautiful astrological book i just want to share real quick so this is an energy that's feminine receptive and mutable like i said mutable pisces can't separate itself emotionally from whatever it's exposed to while this is a source of Pisces' well-deserved reputation for compassion, it's also the source of desire to escape reality. Planets in the sign feel everything, for better or for worse. So they need time alone to unload and reassemble themselves. Exposures to others, especially in crowds, is exhausting. If you have a lot of Pisces energy, 12th house energy, Neptune in a place like myself on my ascendant, so first house of self. Here is where you may have a tendency to take on, take in stray people and animals, and where you'll need to watch for the possibility of being victimized or taken advantage of in some way. So the Pisces energy is so compassionate that you feel other people's feels, right? You feel other people's pain, you feel other people's hurts. And it's important that you don't fall victim. Like I said, water energy needs nice, healthy boundaries. Take the rose colored glasses off. If somebody's shitting on you, they're shitting on you. You gotta draw a line in the sand. Pisces planets see the best in people or situations and they can be disappointed when reality sets in. Oh, if I could only say that to my younger self, hello. But guess what? learned my lessons these planets are the romantics of the zodiac let them dream in healthy ways so if you have a lot of pisces neptune 12th house energy you could be one that gets a lot of signs and synchronicities and a lot of messages through your dream state and i always had this too you know now that my rose colored glasses are off and i do see things for the how they are I am a dreamer too. And I do have fantasies, which is a good thing, right? Because that's our imagination. It's our creativity, setting those things into motion. So Neptune is at the last later degrees of the same sign. And Neptune is, of course, the ruling planet of Pisces. And then Venus will be quickly moving through. She did do a conjunction with Neptune. And that's like our earthly love, spiritual love. So that's kind of been a little kiss of, you know, just being lovey-dovey on some occasions or escaping the reality of seeing relationships within your life that are really not fulfilling, not um, nice and healthy balance of being receptive, but yet giving. So we're just going to draw an overall energy here for this Pisces new moon. Never seems to fail. I come on and I get super, super hot. I should wear a long sleeve. I even got the heater vent closed. So we got the tent. Wait a minute. I got two here. Okay. So for the overall energy for the new moon in Pisces, we got the 10 of cups, 10 of cups, cups energy is water. We're talking about the Pisces new moon in a water sign. And that is bringing up the energy of contentment and joy. So a nice, healthy balance. You see this feminine, masculine, 
giving, receiving. Um, for some of you, you may be reflecting on that and wanting to plant a seed at the time of this new moon of what brings you contentment, what brings you joy, what emotionally fulfills you, perhaps reflecting upon relationships, whether it be with a person, a business, um, and what maybe is possibly not working for you and not bringing you contentment. This could also be indicating a change in career because that is also a relationship, right? And planting a seed with this new moon, kind of separating the wheat from a chaff, which is a Virgo um, kind of concept, which is the, on the polar, polarity axis there of what works for you, what doesn't work for you. <clears throat> we only have a certain amount of time, right? In the body as a spiritual being. So a lot of us could be reflecting upon that and planting a seed with this early degree Pisces new moon on, I need to clear this out. I need to end this. Um, maybe I need to have healthy boundaries. Maybe I need to have strengthened my emotional, physical, spiritual practices daily in order to bring me more contentment, more joy, so that I know where my energy ends and somebody else's begins. So not absorbing what is, whoo, it's hard, not, it's hard. Like I got to really cleanse daily, um, whether it be by getting out in nature, being in service, whatever it is to to remember that, yes, we are all connected, but I don't need to absorb the things that are ending. And that is also an indication with the 10, right? Because 10 is an ending and a beginning. So planting the seed with this Pisces new moon. The next energy we got is the five of swords. And this is the mind games and control. This is the puppet type of energy. So are you being deceived? Are you being a puppet, a pawn to maybe an energy vampire, to somebody that doesn't respect your boundaries, somebody that is narcissistic, somebody that always takes, 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 but doesn't give? Are you controlled by that? Does it mind fuck you? Because that would be something also I would say to my younger self when I was emotionally codependent on outside validation right of being in relationships of codependency and that is definitely mind games and because this is swords energy this could be you even in your mind your intellect confusion on what really brings you contentment and joy i used to get confused overthinking, and this is because I was taught this as a little girl, people pleasing. People pleasing and codependency is not healthy. You can love somebody, but have healthy boundaries and say no more. So this is the energy that's coming up for this Pisces new moon. And because it is a new moon, it may be asking you today to start planting the seed on what is going to emotionally fulfill you what is going to bring you contentment and joy? And where is the mind games? Where is the control factor, right? I used to get told all the time, after everything I do for you, when I would start speaking about healthy boundaries and speaking my heart and truth, that's control. That's mind games. That's mental fuckery. That is all about control. So just keep that in mind for this Pisces new moon. And again, important because it's on this Virgo Pisces axis to make sure your daily routines are taking care of yourself. Your spiritual practice is important, especially as we keep going forward, you guys, because there's a lot of things that are going to be continually purposely causing confusion mainstream is really good for that even alternative media can create more confusion 
have more mind games going on, which is definitely ramped up. So it's asking us to make sure we're aware and we're not seeing things with rose colored glasses on because it is known for the dissolving and also um, super compassionate. It's make sure great discernment that you have within yourself and not to just believe everything that you're told or anything that's put out there because that really can create confusion and that, I mean, I can see it happening, right? Think about it. Pisces energy also rules over Neptune, Pisces, 12th house, oceans, water. So I'll talk about that more because we do have Saturn, the planet of time restrictions, healthy uh, limitations coming up into this Pisces energy. So for now, the new moon in Pisces should probably be very emotional new moon for many of us because it is a water sign. It can have really flowing emotions. Next message that we are asked to be looking at is Mercury messages. This is another air energy because it is communication so again back to this paying attention to your own inner dialogue information coming out making sure that the messages that you are taking upon yourself from outside is not for control for mind games because we have a lot of that going on this is also writing communication so there could be a lot of energy around this new moon in pisces about communication, uh, illusions, deception in the back to the mind control. Because really, let's think about it. Um, the mind is a powerful thing. The consciousness is a very powerful thing. And I'm, I'm seeing this with the, the, two, the symbolism of the healing. What is this? Um, I can't remember the name of it. This is to me more healing as well because we have these serpents wrapped around the staff. So information that could be coming out around this Pisces new moon about the medical establishment, some deception there, some things that were done in the medical establishment for mind control, for deception, for mind games. Whoa, we've seen that over the past few years, wow. What else am I picking up on this? So it'd be a good way for you if you're feeling emotionally overwhelmed at this time to com communicate with somebody that is, you know, there to listen to you, that helps you to helps you to gain clarity of mind. And then going back to that spiritual aspect. Um, keeping a clear mind. A healed mind. A mind that's able to witness and observe everything that's going on. And also trusting your intuition with messages that may be coming through around the time of this new moon in Pisces. So let's put this chart back up real quick. I want to see where Pisces is. Or I mean, sorry, Mercury. So Mercury's in Aquarius, latter degrees at the time of this new moon. Yeah, well, no, mid degrees. So 12 degrees of Aquarius. Aquarius is the rebel. So uh, this message is asking us to stand in our own, to be unique, to not have to go with the collective on any kind of information that comes out. Don't just jump on board with that. Aquarian energy is innovative and it's technological so this may be a good time for you to write to write a blog to um, write a start writing a book this could be a great time for you to plant a seed of um, communicating again and getting together in groups I do feel like for me I'm wanting to get it get together with like-minded people and you know, have prayer circle on my Zoom per invite. So that's something that's definitely coming up for me. 
And the next energy we have, do we have anything in the sign of cancer? No, at the time of this new moon, we do not. Cancer is the energy of immerse. So the cancer energy, which represents the moon, is showing us, okay, and we have, it's in house four, so that's our emotional foundation, our home, our roots. Are we emotionally fil fulfilled? in our home, in our roots, in our foundation? Do we have a contentment and a joy in our inner world too? Because the moon is our inner world, also rep represents the mother. Are you mothering yourself? Are you nurturing yourself? In this time of the new moon in Pisces, you could be having mother things come up. Wow, I guess that's spot on with me. I had that come up last weekend when the moon was in Scorpio. So cancer energy is cardinal. So this is also asking us with this highly emotional new moon in Pisces, and then now the cancer energy to allow yourself to be immersed in those feels, to be immersed in the emotions. Pisces energy be adaptable have an understanding within this new moon in Pisces that it could be a time of really heightened emotions that are just ebbing and flowing. It's also showing me with the messages here <clears throat> with that five of swords and then all of the water energy. We got the swords, mercury energy here. We have water, water here. So this could be confusion between your mental and emotional feels. So immerse yourself go into it don't resist it and see what comes up for you during this new moon in pisces and then like i said sorting out the wheat from chaff what do you need to do in your everyday life physically mentally emotionally to prepare yourself to be strong to be able to have bear witness to the things that will continue to unfold on the collective. I know it's very taxing for sensitives. Um, I've witnessed it. Myself. And I can't say that it's always been easy and it's still not easy. But our way through this with the Pisces energy representing the sacral chakra is trusting our intuition to having a great imagination, which makes me feel like being childlike and playing, finding contentment and joy. So let's read the Sabian symbol because this was not just easy to uh, read and it's not necessarily something that's fun to think about, but we do need to because of all the deception and illusions and even the information that may continue to come out we have to have the rose colored glasses off in order to see things for how they truly are so the pisces degree that we'll be reading for this new moon is two degrees because in the sabian symbols we round up a squirrel hiding from hunters the key word for this new moon in Pisces degree is caution. So back to not believing everything that you see, hear, people put out there. Because if you are a squirrel, you're hunted by prey. So don't fall prey to the mind games and the control Whew, I always just call them the psychopaths of those that think they're in power who want to control and they how do they control by making you feel defeated by making you feel confused by playing mind games so whew, here we go the symbol speaks to self-preservation and to the avoidance of unnecessary risks the image of a squirrel hiding from hunters is one of the negative or reversed symbols, and it symbolizes danger and the need to exercise caution. 
the emphasis in this degree is on being conservative and, and or playing it safe. Thinking things through carefully before acting and having the courage to say no when the risk outweigh the benefits. Mm, I have a lot I could say on that one. On the positive of this degree, at its highest, the symbol represents independent thinking. Again, back to this, be a freedom, like in Mercury is in Aquarius, be a free thinker, think for yourself. Don't get caught up in the group think of fear, doom, mind games, control, or you'll be hunted. Good judgment and keen sense of timing or a natural instinct for knowing when and how to take chances. Pisces new moon, trust your intuition, plant the seed. If you have been going with the masses, plant the seed here. This is your opportunity to go, whoa, I'm stepping away from all that. I'm trusting my own gut, my own intuition. On the negative, lack of self-confidence and a low self-esteem or inhibition and fearfulness. Fear is a liar. And in this society that we're living right now, the propagation of fear of mind games and control is rampant. The ascent is on self-preservation. Discretion is advised. Open enemies are easier to deal with than the hidden ones, right? Think about that, open enemies. You see them, you know, like who's shit on you and who's trying to play mind games with you, who's trying to control you. But the ones that are really detrimental are the ones that are sleep, sneaking in underneath the radar like we're seeing. So whether this be in your personal life or the collective shenanigans we have going on, right? Look at all the mind games now. We went from pandemic to spy balloons to UFOs to the next. Now the who's talking about the next pandemic already. Keep your eyes on that one. Don't be deceived by the mind games that they're putting out because they want you to stay in fear. It's a low vibration. They don't want you to know who you are. They want you disconnected from your spiritual connection. It's not all bad. It's not all bad. Just so you know, your greatest advantage lies in paying attention to the signs that indicate all is not well. Remove the rose colored glasses, see things for what they are. Take precautions to protect yourself. Use your discrimination. The risk here is guard against taking unnecessary risks, keep a low profile and wait for more favorable conditions. So this isn't the time around the new moon, a couple days prior, a couple days after to be out in crowds. It's really not. Um, even with my spiritual knowingness and my growth and me, you know, putting up my own aura and shield and protection of boundaries, there are times when it's inner time not to be out around crowds because people can be losing their effing minds right now, right? This is not the time to draw attention to yourself. The stepping stones for this two degree Pisces new moon is danger, fear, threat, right? It goes back to the squirrel hiding from the hunter. So stay low key. Don't make yourself a target. Forewarning, hazard, jeopardy, peril, risk, trouble, pursuit, self-preservation, discretion, prudence, alertness, so stay alert, carefulness, discretion, sensibility, and caution. That is our Sabian symbol for this new moon in Pisces. Again, it sounds like it's ah, all bad. It's not. It's not bad or good. Otherwise, it's just telling us at this early degrees of Pisces to have healthy boundaries. 
watch out for the delusional mind games being played for control. You may have fear come up. Go into it. It's not easy, but go into it. Sit with it. Think it out, communicate it out, write it out. And caution. I still feel too, with this Virgo Pisces access, right? Because the Virgo energies, day-to-day -day service, the body, um, taking care of your body, and then the Pisces energies, that emotional mutable energy. Uh, I do believe Pisces energy, a 12th house rules over institutions of prisons, psych wards, um, also Hollywood, which, ugh, barf. So role playing, right? Somebody being somebody that they're not. So somebody being what they're not. And again, with the cancer energy coming up for that other last message, immerse, expect probably a very emotional time uh, during under this Pisces new moon. And what, we'll be talking more about that energy because we do have a big movement in the heavens with Saturn going in that same sign of Pisces. Uh, and so that's a big shift as well. So from one of my little favorite decks, very first deck that was gifted to me because Pisces, Neptune, 12th house energy is kind of representative of the oceans, the depths of the oceans, the fluidity of the water. I'm gonna go from a little message from my magical mermaids oracle. Again, very sentimental deck to me. What is the message for the Pisces new moon? And we have make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive? Listen to your intuition and make a decision. Make a decision. Are you confused on what you're, are you feeling stuck? Have you made a decision that no longer works for you that's not bringing you contentment joy, and joy? Are you confused? Gain clarity through men, uh, meditation. It's time for you to make a decision and plant a seed under this. That's kind of perfect. Let's do another one. So make a decision of maybe uh, a daily spiritual practice would be a great seed to plant because I said, even, even the growth I've seen within myself, I struggle sometimes with my sensitivity with Neptune and my ascendant of absorbing the collective, whether it be fear, hurt, um, destruction, it's very difficult, right? So increasing that spiritual practice and that will give, give you clarity of the mind and the messages coming through on the decisions that you need to make. Okay, so time to move on. It's time to let go of the old worn out so that new can come in. Wow, okay. Again, asking us to make a decision. We have to let go, not always easy. You have to have great discernment. You gotta gain clarity. You gotta sometimes set your feelings aside, which isn't always easy if you have a lot of water energy within you to feel emotionally fulfilled, contentment and joy. And if you don't make that decision, of letting go for new, which we have again here with the 10. The universe has a way of pushing us into things where anything that is not in integrity. So it'd really be easier. And I'm taking this one because I never learned the easy way in my past to make a decision of letting go of whatever it is that you need to let go and move on. That's where the growth begins. And again, that sacral chakra, chakra and new creativity. I feel I'm a little blocked in that myself right now because I am feeling stagnant. Um, and I kind of have a, a knowing of why I do feel that way, but uh, it's time to let go of that and turn a new leaf. Let's do a chakra card. <laughs> and I am, and then we will be closing this one up. 
trust your intuition, make decisions. Don't be caught up in mind games and the information, you know, be unique with that Mercury and Aquarius. Don't be afraid to step out on your own. Feel all the feels. And the chakra message, impartiality. Silver card, so this is our spiritual neutral energy. Always reminds me of Libra. So this is kind of almost the fool card in the tarot as well to have a beginner's mind. Um, again, keeping these scales balanced, stay in the neutral. Don't trust all the information and the deception being revealed in the collective to, you know, mind control and put you in a feeling of confusion. Stay neutral, have that beginner's mind. Then you will clearly be able to make a decision, let go of what is no longer bringing you contentment, joy, fulfillment, and move on from that, right? Into a new creative energy. Love it. Love it. So the I am affirmation for this Pisces new moon. I am affirmation for the Pisces new moon is I learn from my mistakes. Don't get caught up in the mind game you may even have within yourself of, I should have did this. I should have did that. Shame, shame, shame. I was raised by the queen of shame. Don't let shame hold you back. Look at your mistakes, your errors of the past with a beginner's mind and impartiality, right? The fool's journey to begin over new, to gain clarity within yourself, wisdom within yourselves. Because let's face it, as long as you're not continuing the same mistakes over and over and over again, um, you're learning. You have the opportunity to learn from them mistakes and grow from them mistakes. And I am testimony of that. So that is our new moon in Pisces energy read for the collective or the individual, however you took it within your heart. I hope that everything here um, gives you something to ponder upon, grow from, learn from, be aware of. And until the next time, shalom, shalom.